House Republicans passed a voting bill they say will prevent non-citizens from participating in elections. Connor Hansen has details on one of the Republicans' key issues from New York. But the yeas are 221, the nays are 198. The bill is passed. A key part of their agenda, House Republicans passed the SAVE Act, expressing concerns that people in the country illegally could be voting in upcoming elections. Five Democrats voted for it as well. Let me be clear, non-citizen voting reduces confidence in our elections. American elections are for American citizens and we intend to keep it that way. The law would require people to provide documents proving their citizenship when they register to vote. And it would give states access to federal databases to help them remove non-citizens from the rolls. These common sense solutions are not controversial. State audits show it's rare for ballots from non-citizens to be counted and they haven't impacted an election. Many Democrats argue the SAVE Act is unnecessary and could make it harder for some Americans if they've lost documents or if they're overseas and can't register in person. Republicans are pushing a bill that will disenfranchise U.S. military personnel protecting us overseas from registering. It's unpatriotic and it's shameful. Former President Trump supports the bill and stood with House Speaker Mike Johnson when he announced it. Trump says it would stop, quote, weaponization and cheating, but opponents argue its purpose is far more cynical. It only perpetrates lies now to set up even bigger lies later when they're unhappy with the outcome of the November election. The SAVE Act would still have to survive the Democrat-led Senate and the White House, which has voiced opposition to the bill. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.